guys, it's Viv, and for today's video, I'm here with Paisley, and we're going to be showing you three easy Tumblr-inspired room decor pieces for your American Girl doll. So if you want to know how to make those, just keep on watching. So to complete these DIYs, some of the tools that you'll be needing are tape, needle nose pliers and wire cutters, fabric markers or regular uh, markers, a needle and thread, and scissors. You will also be needing some type of cylindrical object, so um, a wooden dowel would be ideal, but I didn't have that, so I actually just took like a paper bag and I rolled it up into a tube. So that's what I'm going to be using. You're going to need some fabric, you're going to need some thin wire, and paper. So you can see that I've already started this first DIY, but basically what we're going to be making are these really cool and trendy wire words. So this is the uh, sneak preview that I did put on my Instagram. So first thing you want to do is get a piece of paper and draw out your word. And you can see that I've already started tracing my word with uh, my wire. So the ideal word that you're going to want to have is going to be like one connected thing. So I would recommend you use handwriting so that um, all of the, the lines and whatever are connected. However, if you have to do two separate things, then you'll have to do what I did here, which was hot glue pieces together. So I had to do that for the cross of the T, and I also had to connect the lights part to the D3. So once you write down your phrase or your word on your paper, you'll want to start at the highest point where there is no other connection, so it's kind of like a like a free end, so I started up at the top of my D, and then I used my wire to go around here, and then create the, I went this way first, and then I went that way, up to create the O. So, you're gonna need the tape at this point, so basically what you're gonna do is just maneuver the wire so that it fits the letters, and then once you have a little section in place, I would recommend taping it down just so that it doesn't get all over the place and it'll make it easier for you to bend the wire. So you just want to do that to your face. It's really self-explanatory and it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it, but if you're having trouble around certain curves, then you can go ahead and use a pair of needle nose pliers to help you bend the wire. Once you have your board all banded out, you can go ahead and peel it off of the paper. it's all completed. I absolutely love the way these turned out. They are so cool. So for this next DIY, I have started out by taking two squares of fabric, sewing them right sides together, and then flipping them right sides out to create a pillow. And I've done this in previous videos, so I will have them linked in a card in the top right hand corner if you don't know how to make doll pillows but they're super easy to do and I left a space here that I can step it so I went ahead and I took a pencil and I wrote good vibes on my pillow and now I am going to grab my fabric marker I'm just using this black one from Tulip brand and I'm going to just write on my pillow What I'm going to do is I'm going to take some scraps of fabric and I'm going to stuff my pillows and then sew the opening shut. Once you finish closing up your pillows, you should have a cute decorative tumbler looking pillow for your doll room. I am so obsessed with the way these turned out. I think they look absolutely adorable. So for the hanging wall art, you are going to need your cylindrical object and you're going to need either some yarn, ribbon, or strips of fabric. I have here this pink yarn that if you watched my Valentine's Day um, DIYs then you'll recognize this pink yarn. It's one of my favorites. So what I'm going to do is take some of my yarn and fold it over so that I have like a loop at the top and I'm going to decide how long I want my tassels to be. So I'm thinking probably this length is good enough for me. So it'll be the length of yarn that you want to cut should be double the length of the tassel that you want. So now what I'm going to do is cut this length like so and I'm going to take this loop here and I'm going to stick my fingers in it and then pull out the ends through the loop over the rod here so that it creates a knot and that will be my first tassel and then I'm going to repeat that along the entire rod doing as many strands as I like and then I will come back to you guys what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it in a V shape 
I'm going to do is I'm going to take my yarn again and I'm going to tie a strand at the end here. Just normally, I'm not going to do the fold um, knot method. So now what you're going to want to do is decide how much you want the um, art to hang. So if you want it to hang a little bit, so not too far, then you want to make this piece as short as you possibly can. However, if you want it to drape really low, like hang really low, then you want this triangle or this like hooking strand to be pretty long. And then once I get the length that I like, I am going to just cut a little bit more than I need off of my yarn and then just tie it to the other side. So anyways guys, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this Ever After High and Barbie doll videos as well. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for another video. Bye!